Welcome to Grace TV. We are on a big mission for creating awareness about fertility and women health. This program is exclusively designed to overcome the gap in care that women and couples face when they are planning a baby. So, we have set out to build this informative channel to bridge the gap and provide useful information to women in simple and understandable language. The channel is founded by Dr. Rubina K.D. Singh, an IVF and fertility expert and an ambassador of hope for many couples struggling to have a baby. We are helping couples to become parents from all over the world with ethics, love and joy. Does obesity affect fertility? Now, obesity is a known risk factor for infertility. Come, let's find out what is the reason and how obesity reduces the fertility. Hi, I'm Dr. Rubina gynecologist and an IVF specialist and today we will discuss about the relation of obesity with fertility. Now obesity and overweight involves an abnormal and excessive fat accumulation that negatively affects the health of the body. Now obesity is a known risk factor for risk factor for infertility. The studies have also shown that infertility is more common, that is three times more common in overweight women as compared to the women with normal weight. Now this happens because of the excessive fat deposition. Now this fat is, the, is hormonally active tissue. So, this hormonally active tissue keep producing the hormones and they interfere with the normal hormonal milieu of the body. So, this causes irregular periods, irregular lot of hormonal imbalance, causes anovulation, hyperinsulinemia and hyperandrogenism. So, a complete PCOS like picture where the chances of infertility is very high. Now, obesity may impair reproductive function by affecting both the ovaries and the endometrium. But studies have also shown a link between obesity and infertility where women are normally ovulating and still there they are less chances of getting pregnant. So, obesity is Obesity reduces the chances of natural pregnancy and also these people, if they get pregnant, there are chances of uh, difficult pregnancy, there are chances of complications in pregnancy and if in case they don't get pregnant naturally and they have to go for IVF, the success rate of IVF is also less. Come, let's find out what is the reason behind why obesity causes reduced success rate in IVF. That is because, because of obesity, there are reduced number of oocyte retrieval, means the egg which we retrieve in the IVF is less. The quality of the egg is poor. So the embryo which is formed is not very good. The mature oocytes are less and hence the number of embryo formation is also less. So, if number of embryo formation will be less, less, so automatically the, there will be reduced number of embryos to be transferred and also so the success rate goes down. Now, it has also been seen that such patient needs higher doses of gonadotrophin and also needs longer duration of gonadotrophin. So, that means they need more injection, more dose of injection. That is why before enrolling such patients for IVF, as a part of preconceptional counseling, we advise them that weight loss is a gold standard for them. So we advise such patients strict weight loss. At least they must eat 30% less than their normal diet, increase in the protein intake, then absolutely cut down the carbs and cut down the fat in the diet. 
make a healthy lifestyle adapt to exercise at least four to five times a week for at least 45 minutes the cardio exercises are uh, better in such cases so obese women takes longer time to conceive and when these women conceive they have higher chances of miscarriages and they also have higher chances of pregnancy complications like increase in the incidence of gestational diabetes, increased chances of birth defects in the babies and also preeclampsia or preterm labor. So obesity not only affects the female fertility part but also affects males. As we have seen that because of the excessive fat deposition, there is excessive estrogen in the body and this causes reduction in the testosterone secretion. So if, the, the, if there is change in the testosterone levels in the body, in that case, the sperm production, the spermatogenesis, the process where the sperms are formed, in that case, that, that process is hampered. So such patient might have low sperm count loss of libido they don't feel like uh, being together and loss of sperm motility so neither the neither being overweight is good for men nor it is good for women so conclusion here is that overweight overweight and obese patient should be informed before before they are trying to get pregnant they should as a part of a preconceptional counseling they should be informed that they must cut down on their weight and then start planning for pregnancy but yes obviously keeping the age of the patient in mind and also the year of duration or year of marriage and year of trying time that is also very important to plan the treatment so in a comprehensive way, we have to plan the treatment for such patients so as to improve the chance of their pregnancy. To know more about such uh, information, the fertility related information, you can subscribe to our channel Grace TV. You can call us, you can email us or you can log on to our website www.graceivf.com and we will be more than happy to help you to have your baby. Thank you.